contre Mercer, un contre un de Manganet. Il a bien joué. Et en Mercer, il a repris la rondelle. Seul des siens, cependant. Une fin. Un a débloqué. Il retourne. Il est vu. Et Mercer va aller chercher une passe. Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central. And today we'll take a closer look at New Jersey's top prospect, Dawson Mercer. Newfoundland's native is a skilled yet very reliable center who uses his crafty puck handling abilities and elite creativity to produce offensively. He is, in my opinion, one of the most exciting and dynamic players eligible in 2020. I've watched every game of his last season, and a grand total of 79 games over the last three years. So obviously, this will be a very long and in-depth scouting report. If you're looking for a quick resume, this might not be the video for you. But for now, let's take a look at how Dawson Mercer became one of the top prospects eligible for the upcoming draft. Selected 8th overall by the Drummondville Voltsijar in the 2017 QMJHL draft, Mercer had a relatively decent season as one of the youngest players in the league, putting up 11 goals and 26 points in 61 games. The following year, the right-handed forward had a breakthrough season with the offensive powerhouse that was Drummondville, accumulating 30 goals and 64 points in 68 games. He added an impressive 16 points in 16 games in the QMJHL playoffs. With multiple players traded and a few NHL prospects leaving to the pro levels, Mercer took a step forward in Drummondville this season, collecting 18 goals and 42 points in 26 games. His incredible play, versatility and compete allowed him to find his way to the Canadian World Junior Championship roster and although not collecting any points in that tournament, meeting that team alone was an impressive feat for a draft eligible. After getting traded to Shikotsimi, he finished the season with a decent 18 points in 16 games. So Dawson Mercer had an excellent season on paper, but what makes him stand out on the ice? To get a better idea of what are the risks and rewards with him, let's look at every aspect of his game, from best to worst. Without any hesitation, the best aspect of Mercer's game are his incredible puck skills. The 6 foot forward is at the top of the draft when it comes to handling the puck, showing his tremendous talent with the disc on a consistent basis. Mercer possesses some amazingly quick, deceptive and smooth hands that allow every move to feel fluid and effortless. He's an incredibly flashy dangler who can pull out highlight reel plays and very creative moves. The 178 pound centerman is one of the shiftiest players in the QMGHL, showing the dexterity to dodge for checkers seamlessly and take any opponents coming his way. It's tough to destabilize Mercer, as even when he sees pressure coming his way at the very last second, he manages to sidestep his enemies with a terrifying amount of comfort. Here, Mercer receives the puck and takes quick information of his surroundings, despite very limited time to react. He sidesteps the incoming hit and continues the breakout. His outstanding elusiveness can best be seen in transition, as he uses his great dicking abilities to bait enemies and get to the open skating lane. He's able to ridicule some defensemen with very impressive cuts and honestly makes some of the best look foolish. What makes him stand out is his ability to adapt to his rival positioning and make very quick adjustments at high speed. As the defender commits to playing the outside lane too early, Mercer makes him pay and maneuvers his way to the middle ice. Mercer is also a menace when it comes to creating his own shot on the cycle. His quick hands allow him to dissect shooting lane and get to the perfect spot to be a real threat. The Canadian attacker can stick and roll in a phone boot, dangling multiple opponents at once in very tight space. He gets to the slot and dangerous areas with remarkable ease. In his three seasons in the QMJHL, 32.4% of his production came through the cycle play and 42 of those 55 points were primary. His success can be mostly associated with his magnificent ability to beat pressure and create in traffic. Mercer uses his dicking abilities pretty effectively to create enough time and space to generate scoring chances on the attack. But at times, he also refers to those same skills 
to simply buy time and drive positions. On this play for example, at the end of a long defensive shift, instead of dumping the puck, Mercer switches the ice to give time to his teammate to go for a change. For context, Mercer is up against Valdo, three best defensive players, Ottawa Senators prospect Maxence Gennett and NHL camp invitees Thomas Pelletier and Jacob Gaucher. Mercer not only uses his great dicking abilities to stay in control of the puck until the arrival of his partners, but he manages to set up the goal by disturbing the defense. This seems to be a trend with Mercer, as he often prefers to use his stick and link skills to solve problems or wait for plays to develop rather than quickly get rid of the puck at the first glimpse of pressure. Despite Mercer's effectiveness as a dangler, what's the most striking about his puck skills is his puck control. Newfoundland's top respect shines under pressure, where his silky smooth hands and great creativity allows him to find ways to get out of dirty areas with possession of the puck, often without even having to get involved physically. On the zone entry, Mercer evaluates his option. With no real passing lane developed yet, and four rivals quickly closing the gap, he needs to find an escape route. Wisely, he uses the board to get past an opponent and send the puck to a teammate swing his poise and control to evade pressure. The right-handed attacker is very crisp in corners to recover the puck with quickness and control, showing a commanding stick and agility. He uses his environment very well to get an edge over his opponent as well as express his full ingenuity. Thanks to his swift moves and great control, he's actually one of the best players in board battles in the QMJHL. His niftiness allows him to come away victorious in corners against otherwise very tough opponents. I'm just guessing here, but I think Mercer's background in ball hockey might have helped him develop his rust skills in those situations. Instead of trying to win puck battles with physicality, he uses his quick hands to navigate through sticks and defenders. His outstanding hand-eye coordination can play a big role into recovering contested pucks too. This play is pretty incredible in itself. Mercer manages to gain control of the puck mid-air and restart the cycle for his team seamlessly. There's just a ton of different clips showcasing Mercer's iron talent, which speaks volume for his full range of skills. Mercer also puts his puck control on display when protecting the disc through every traffic and completing very tough maneuver on the fly. It's pretty incredible to see him steer through opponents and sticks with as much authority. The amount of poke checks and stick lifts Mercer can endure while still having control of the puck is completely absurd. This allows him to strike to the middle of the ice and get to the slug with ease where a lot of delicacy and precision is needed. There's numerous times where I thought Mercer had completely lost control of the puck, just to see him come out with the possession and prove me wrong an instant later. He never gives up on a play and can keep the puck for himself to any situation. Here, Mercer goes against Juan Aranda, top defensive defenseman, and despite the challenge, he's able to literally control the puck through the defender's legs and keep an eye on the play to find his teammate crashing to the net, which is kind of impressive at that speed of play. Unsurprisingly, his ability to not only stay poised but in control against pressure makes him a reliable puck handler to create controls on entries. On this rush, Mercer faces multiple challenges all the way up the ice yet find ways to stay in control through all of it. He would be, in my opinion, a perfect fit for any team who praises position and control as ways to create on the attack. Playing the puck and completing passes on his knees or while falling down is also a skill he has somehow developed. It's actually quite frequent to see Mercer play the puck after getting knocked down. One other small area of the game that Dawson Mercer excels at is receiving tough passes effortlessly. He always seems in control of the puck in those situations, despite falling on the ice, receiving the puck in his skates or being heavily pressured by opponents. His great instincts and dexterity also helps him put the puck at the perfect spot immediately upon reception, allowing him to get on the offense quickly and smoothly. Although very flashy and sometimes uncalled for, it's natural for Mercer to use his puck skills at his advantage and display every bit of his talent in small areas of the game like this one. His face-off abilities are probably the one area of his game that had the most drastic improvement over the last two seasons. 
drafted as a winger in the QMJHL, Mr. struggle at the face-off line when moved to the center position in the 2018-19 season. Despite taking more than 579 draws over the whole season and playoff, he only won 46.6% of his face-off. He had similar issues at the beginning of the season with Drummondville, winning only 47.5% of his 324 face-off in his first 19 games. Interestingly enough though, after getting suspended for 6 games in November, the Canadian forward came back tremendously improved at the face of dot. My guess would be that Mercer and the Drummondville staff realized that this could be an area to improve on, especially for a defensively responsible center like him. With the time in the end, the 6-foot centerman mastered his craft and improved his technique, showing much more aggressiveness. Mercer quickly became one of the top face-off men in the QMJHL, winning 55% of his face-off in the second half of the year. He was relied upon to take important defensive draws and at times even put on the ice exclusively to win the possession of the puck before going back for a change. His face-off abilities are certainly decent enough to allow him to translate into the center position at the NHL level. An exceptional stake handler, Mercer is among the best when it comes to puck skill. Mercer expresses his eye and hockey senses in multiple aspects, whether it be through his great creativity, instincts, positioning, elusiveness or quick decision making. Mercer is a very intelligent attacker who can read, process and react to information at incredible speed. He shows great inspiration to get into open spot on breakouts and unmanned rushes, which allows for quick restart of the attack and dangerous opportunities. When he is not the one driving the play, he displays his tremendous awareness to get to the net quickly and effectively, whether it be on the counter-attack or on the cycle. It seems very natural for him to get into open space as a dangerous setup option or just crash the net in hopes for a rebound or a pass. As an example, on this play, after completing the pass to his partner, Mercer immediately looks at paths to get to the crease. He shows his great flair for the net and motor, leading to a nice scoring chance. On this rush, Mercer analyzes his surroundings and sees the possibility to get to the crease before the opposition. He turns on the jets and manages to get to the back of the defense for a slick tap-in. I've never seen someone get as many breakaways as Mercer had this season. And these dangerous scoring opportunities are mostly a result of his great foresight, as he frees himself from the pack before giving the opposition time to think. On this breakout, Mercer takes information from all areas of the ice and sees the possibility to get free behind the D, which is exactly what he does. Here, after seeing the opposing defenseman break his stick, Mercer is quick to jump on the attack to take advantage of the situation. The right-handed center also showcases great instincts to his teammates with impressive no-look passes. He anticipates his teammate positioning with great accuracy and can generate scoring chances very well taking that advantage. On this rush, Mercer is well aware of the 3v2 situation and can anticipate his line mate getting to the crease before even receiving the puck. Once he gets possession, he's quick to send it back to his teammate, which makes up for a spectacular highlight real goal. Mercer crosses path with his partner and once again anticipates his positioning perfectly. He sends him a pretty accurate feed, which he can't quite finish, unfortunately. When looking at his hockey senses though, what first stands out for Mercer is his amazing creativity. The Canadian forward shows great instincts in pressure situations to find ingenious ways to get out of trouble or create new passing lanes. He's very smart and can adjust to what's in front of him with a ton of different moves and possibilities. He especially likes that spin move that catches numerous defenders off guard and allows him to get into dangerous positions. On this action, the simple play would either be to try a pass along the boards or a shot in traffic. Mercer recognizes the open space near the slot and makes a beautiful spin to get into a dangerous area. This time, Mercer sees the defender cutting the gap and capitalizes on it by faking the shot and spinning on the inside for the quick pass. Or on this play, Mercer sees his defender turning his feet the wrong side and adjusts his game accordingly, sending the puck to the slot. Mercer is not scared to try outlandish moves too. Between the legs, Michigan, nothing is out of the equation for him. This makes him very flashy, 
but it's an important part of his versatile and unpredictable attacks. He is bold enough to try new things, take risks and let his talent loose. In terms of playmaking, Mercer shows his ability to find interesting passing lanes not many would have seen as well as use his puck skills to facilitate puck distribution. He's not always precise with some of his moves, but you can clearly see the full extent of his imagination. He's extremely creative, sometimes almost to a fault. He will need to pay attention to not oversaturate his game with these new ideas, as he sometimes can overcomplicate things a bit with his fantasy. This should be a simple tap-in for Mercer, but he thinks about doing the extra move to be the goaltender instead of the obvious one. That said, I'd much rather work with someone like Mercer that needs to be toned down a bit than try to elevate someone who can bring the same level of creativity. Mercer is a very quick thinker who loves to play a high-paced game. This is rarely the case, but he actually seems more comfortable when he faces pressure and is forced to make quick decisions, which I think would translate perfectly to the pro level. Honestly, I think part of why Mercer wasn't as productive in Shikutsumi is because of the bigger eyes, which leads to more space and time. In a recent interview, when asked if the Olympic ice in Shikutsumi suits better his style of play, he seemed to hint that he actually preferred playing on a regular sized ring. I had similar impressions in my viewings. Mercer excels at taking great decisions on the fly and play through traffic. This leads to more turnovers than necessary at the moment but I'd expect him to have a much smoother transition to the highest level than many who will struggle with the speed of play. To illustrate, here's a few examples of his swift thinking. On the breakout, Mercer is very quick to find line mates with precise passes for rapid transition. It looks effortless, as it really is for him. On this power play, he finds a teammate near the crease before even receiving the pass. Perfect display of his sharp decision making. This play is one of my favorites from Mercer this season. After recovering the puck on the PK, he recognizes the defenseman positioning and decides to throw the puck in neutral zone for the foot race. After getting stopped on the breakaway, he quickly takes notes of his surrounding and makes an incredible pass, while getting checked to his partner in the slot. Once again, a great exhibit of his hockey IQ. Shikutsumi's top end forward is also adept at getting into dangerous areas with the puck, cutting to the slot at any given opportunities. He's actively looking to improve his positioning and will exploit any breaches in the defense. I've just talked about it, but it's evident Mercer will need to polish his decision making a bit. He can make a few unnecessary flashy and risky plays that could be easily avoided. Looking at this action for instance, Mercer has a lot of options for the control zone entry, but instead blunders a rather tricky spin pass. Overall though, it's quite rare for him to try plays he's not confident in. He doesn't force a zone entries if the skating line tightens up and he does a great job at keeping possession. He's adept at getting out of pin and traps, showcasing great awareness, patience and decision making. Mercer is a very elusive forward who not only showed the ability to hide his intentions very well but to stay unpredictable at all moments. It's very tough to anticipate his next move and he loves to use fakes to throw his opponents off, whether it's to open up a passing lane or give himself some room to maneuver. Here, Mercer cycles behind the net and fakes a backhand pass to the slot, which throws the defender off and gives him the space necessary. Or on this 2v1, Mercer fakes the slap shot. This sends the defenseman on the ice and opens the passing lane for the assist. The 2020 NHL draft eligible seems to manipulate the opposition with incredible ease in shot pass situations to open up his options. This, in part, allowed him to be a terrific threat on the power play. 35% of his total production this season came on the power play, and it's evident it's one of his 40. As a dual threat, he uses his deception very well to create scoring chances. Mercer seems to get in position for a dangerous shot here, feet and eyes pointing to the net, but instead he finds his defenseman striking to the slot for the setup. Mercer does a decent job when it comes to staying out of the penalty box and most of his infraction seems to come on the puck board threat. He only had 25 penalty minutes in 42 games which compares favorably to other Q top prospects. The only time he got a bit too dirty was this hit which cost him a 6-game suspension. 
Overall, Mercer is a creative attacker who can play a very high tempo game thanks to his quick decision making. Mercer shows a decent turn speed in transition to create smooth zone entries, beat opponents on the fly and even get on breakaways. But his straight line speed can necessarily rival with the top skaters of the draft. His stride is smooth and efficient but it isn't as powerful. What makes him stand out though is his acceleration, quickness and mobility. Mercer is an explosive skater who excels at finding skating lanes on the counter attack thanks to his great foot speed and agility. He loves to play a high tempo game and push the attack rapidly. The 6 foot centerman possesses an impressive second gear that helps him beat defenders with very quick changes in pace. Here, Mercer goes head to head against Hendrik Lapierre, one of the top skaters eligible for 2020. On the pass reception, he shows great edge work to quickly explode off the blocks and actually beat Lapierre on the foot race. Mercer can shift direction on a dime and slice through traffic with swiftness. He gets plenty of opportunities on rushes thanks to his brisk cuts and overall shifty skating, overwhelming defenses with incredible foot speed and adjustments. His agility is by far the best aspect of his skating. On display to illustrate, as Mercer leads the rush, he quickly notices the defenseman cutting the middle ice. He's able to shift direction right away without losing speed for the partial book away. On this breakout, Mercer takes note of the forechecker applying pressure. With the help of his quick feet, he dodges his opponent seamlessly. He's surely one of the toughest players to handle in transition, being extremely volatile. Mercer will look fast when given the space. He actively looks to split the D, strike to the slot or crash to the net, pushing opponents to be very sounded defensively as he'll exploit what's given to him. Mercer showcases his full skill set on this position, displaying his quick first steps and decent tough speed on the rush, then navigating the offensive zone with great velocity. Shikutsumi's top and forward is a fluid skater who possesses great four-way mobility. He especially loves to utilize his edges to sneak into open space. On this zone entry for example, Mercer uses his edges effectively to strike to the slot with confidence and position himself into a dangerous spot. His balance is excellent as well, he sometimes cuts his turns pretty tight, losing his edges. But otherwise, he's tough to knock off the puck and quick to get back on his feet when on the ice. Overall, Mercer is a tremendous skater who showcases great quickness and elite mobility. Mercer is a top-notch playmaker who can create scoring chances for his teammates with dynamic puck distribution. Despite his tremendous abilities with the puck, Mercer is far from a puck hog always looking to open the play first and foremost. He loves to get the play moving rapidly and get others involved with quick passes. He could be described as a team player. On this unmanned rush, Mercer doesn't wait until the last second to try a pass or a shot. He prefers to utilize every attacker and include them in the action right away to destabilize the defenseman and shake the goaltender. He's extremely generous and will often pass on a dangerous shot to create a better scoring opportunity for his partner. At times, Mercer will just throw pucks to the slot without even looking, just to create traffic and potentially connect with a teammate. He recognizes the value of shots from up close and actively looks to find chances near the crease. In 42 games this season, Mercer collected 36 assists. 23 of them being primary. This compares very well with other QMJHL draft eligible this year and even with previous top prospects coming out of the league. Mercer's excellent ability to set up teammates with great scoring chances can be traced back to his terrific vision. He's constantly aware of his allies' positioning, which allows for effortless puck distribution. Mercer is getting a partial breakaway opportunity here, yet still checks the surrounding before making a play allows him to find a partner following the rush and create an even better scoring opportunity than he previously had. That's quite the opposite of tunnel vision. Not many players have that level of awareness in those sorts of situations. Although it serves him as a great offensive tool, Mercer makes use of his superior vision in more than one aspect, whether it be to find teammates on zone entries or escape pressure situations. He only needs a quick look over his shoulder to spot an open ally. Here, Mercer scans the surrounding to find an open partner on his own entry. 
as his defender cuts the gap, he sees his line mate and anticipates him going to the boards. With these informations, he's able to open the play and start the cycle. Before recovering the puck, Mercer already checks his passing option. This allows him to find an ally in front and make the quick pass as soon as he touches the disc. Mercer's passing accuracy is not as refined and can be quite inconsistent, as he'll often try difficult no-look feeds or fancy passes. There's definitely room for improvement in that aspect. That said, he has showed very complete passing abilities in all zone and situation, solidifying himself as a complete passer. He can make quick tap passes on breakouts, stretch the attack quickly on transition and make slick feeds in tight. He also possesses a very soft touch on saucer passes, adding another tool to his furnished arsenal. Here, Mercer sees his teammate slipping away from his defender and looks to make a pass. With stick and opponents in the way, he makes a beautiful saucer pass perfectly timed and positioned. Saucer pass are not always convenient in traffic though, as they can be tough to catch. Mercer finds solution to this problem, often extending his stick to passing lanes to distribute feeds. As an example, on this 2v1, Mercer could easily try a tricky saucer pass over the defender, but instead chooses to extend his stick to complete the feed with much more ease. Overall, Mercer has the potential to become an excellent playmaker at the next level, as he possesses a terrific vision. As well as being a great playmaker, Mercer is a magnificent goal scorer. He owns a quick, deadly release on both his wrist and slap shot, surprising goaltenders with quick blasts and transition, and finishing setup plays with swift shots on reception. Here, as Mercer anticipates the pass from his partner, he opens up his zips and sets himself up in the perfect position for the shot on reception. He puts as much power as possible on the release and beats the Russian goaltender. Thanks to his smooth, sounded puck delivery, Mercer can fire from any position. His shots are a constant threat, doesn't matter if his feet are set or not. Here, Mercer is going away from the net, yet still manages to release the puck with pinpoint accuracy for the goal. Same on display, it's a tough shot to make, but Mercer finds ways to be dangerous from all positions. Thanks to his incredible accuracy and power, the 2020 eligible presents himself as a scoring danger from far away. He's able to beat goaltenders from pretty much anywhere in the offensive zone, becoming a threat as soon as he enters the zone. On display to illustrate, Mercer recognizes the space that's given to him on the entry and capitalizes on it by firing a dangerous shot. Too quick and accurate for the goaltender, even from far away. Mercer also displayed an amazing scoring touch to finish plays around the crease. He just knows what to do to beat goaltenders from up close, levitating the puck when needed and crushing the net with intensity when the puck is loose. With an already outstanding positioning, he's very tough to deal with in dangerous areas. The 6 foot forward also showed above average and eye coordination to deviate shot in front. He scored a couple of goals that way. Mercer finished with 24 tallies in 42 games this year, a decent amount in comparison to fellow Q draft eligible. Not too far behind a couple of high draftees coming out of the Q2. He can score from anywhere and in any situations, which, in my opinion, will help him translate into a decent goal scorer at the pro level. Despite being one of the most offensively skilled players in the draft, Mercer is an extremely defensively responsible forward who puts attention and efforts in his own zone. The 6 foot centerman loves to get back to help his defenseman, whether it be through getting involved in puck battles or simply apply pressure to the puck carrier. He cuts passing lanes skillfully and can recover a ton of loose pucks simply with great positioning. Mercer also excels in 1v1 situations, where his tremendous stick work and lateral agility helps him keep up with attackers and destabilize the work. His relentless poke checks and stick lifts are the key to his numerous takeaways defensively which constantly helps him get opportunities for quick transition. Playing on the penalty kill is Mercer's forte, where his great aggressiveness and stick work comes handy to disturb the setup. He's not only able to defend the zone very well, but create almost as much offense as the opposition. Him and Xavier Simono combined for 9 points in his 26 games with Drummondville, giving multiple teams headaches on the PK. Showcasing a very aggressive defense, Mercer excels at forcing mistakes and recovering pucks defensively. 
When giving the opportunity, instead of dumping the puck, Russo will use his great puck control to get on the rush and waste as much time as possible. His scoring chances can materialize through this strategy, he is first and foremost looking to stay in possession of the puck and allow his team to control the play. He seems to take pride in playing in important defensive situations and gets full confidence from his coaches. Defense is not only played in the defensive zone and Mercer can be a prime example of that at times. He breaks zone exits and transition attempts at very impressive rates thanks to his outstanding stick work. With the help of his great anticipation and vision, he snatches outlet passes with dexterity, making defenseman's jobs that much tougher. On display, with the defenseman turning the corner, Mercer takes note of the winner positioning and goes to cut the passing lane. With his options limited, the rear guard is forced to attempt a dangerous pass through the middle ice, which Mercer catches. A quick change of momentum thanks to his superb defensive play. He's also quick to grab contested pucks in neutral zone and put pressure here as well. Newfoundland attacker has some great impressive back checks too, showing he's truly ready to put efforts on both ends. Here, Mercer starts the play far behind the puck carrier. Not many prospects would have put the energy to come back in this situation, yet that's exactly what he does, breaking up the scoring chance at the other end. That said, he can get caught watching the puck and letting his feet slide a bit too often. Here, as Mercer slowly gets back on defense, he gets caught over-focusing on the puck carrier, which allows his man to free himself and get into prime scoring position. Those are rare, but I still felt like it was important to mention, as this could be an area to focus on for him in the upcoming years. Mercer is a competitive forward who makes a pleasure out of posturing the puck and prides himself on his defensive effort. What I love the most about his competitiveness is his persistence in puck battles, always fighting for the disc. He never loses a puck without trying to get it back. Here he fumbles the puck into his opponent's skates but he reacts instantly and is still the first one to get it back. On this play, he gets a stick lift and loses control, but jumps immediately on the loose disc. That's a 1v5 and he's winning position of the puck. He's a relentless forechecker who's adept at creating turnovers with his outstanding stick work. On the PK or at 5v5, he enjoys being on the puck for street, constantly battling for position. Mercer is a really annoying player to play against as he's going to be on your back every time you got the puck, trying to make your life as hard as it can be. You can see on this close-up how annoying his non-stop stick lifts truly are. This does not only disturb the opposition, he's actually able to create many scoring occasions of those turnovers. A reward for his hard work. On this fourth check, he knocks down the defender of the puck and got a clear path to the net. Mercer stole a lot of goalies launch through this season, as he surprised them with quick pressure and finished the job easily. The right-handed forward is not afraid to sacrifice his body to make a play or crash to the net to finish the job. You constantly see him jump in dirty areas without any hesitation. I just love on this play how he puts everything he has on the ice just to be sure the puck gets over the line. His attitude is top-notch too, just a competitive player who shows emotions on the ice. Mercer is a fierce competitor. But obviously, having watched almost 80 games of his, there was a couple of times where he showed a lack of intensity. It's almost always on the defensive side, where he can get sloppy a bit trying to conserve his energy for the attack. Here's the play that disappointed me the most from Mercer this season. As his team turns over the puck on the power play, he has a chance to recover this mistake by getting back in neutral zone to at least contest a potential breakaway. Instead, he looks up in disappointment and slowly glides as a spectator to his opponent goal. Overall, Mercer displayed a high compete level in every area of the game. He might take a few shifts off, but there's much more positive here. There's nothing to love neither to hate about Mercer's physicality. He has decent size, but he doesn't really use it at his advantage. It helps him shield the puck at occasions, but he is also getting rocked around a bit by more physical defensemen. He's shown decent abilities to absorb some pushes with brilliance, but most defenders will target his strength as the weak point of his offense. He doesn't seem affected much by it, but it's the area of his game that could most improve. 
I've got no concern whatsoever about it hurting its NHL potential. So in conclusion, Dawson Mercer is, in my opinion, one of the most interesting prospects in the middle of the first round. He's a non-cut gem that simply needs to be polished a bit. He's got one of the best offensive skill set in the draft, but yet could very well fill in a role on a bottom six at the highest level. Anyway, what's your thoughts on Dawson Mercer? Subscribe for more NHL draft related content and click here to watch my previous scouting report on 2020 eligible. We'll see you in the next one. Here I come, you can't hide.